Should I do my intro or yours? <laughs> hey, 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 Tiki Trail! <laughs> Tiki Trekkers. Is now is the Tiki Trekkers. Yeah. I have to try and remember Tiki Trekkers because those are the people on the Tiki Trail. So I'm not talking to the trail. I'm talking to the people on the oh, trail. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I, yeah, I caught that a while back, and so I keep trying to make sure to do that. Did someone correct you on that? Like, hey, you know. No, I did. No. No, because <laughs> I have people calling me Tiki Trail. I'm like, okay, that's not my name. That, that is a thing. Do they call you Tiki Trail now? Oh, when some people, when they see me, they're like, hey, Tiki Trail. Yeah, I'm it's like, the same with the, when I started with Tiki with Ray. It's like, Tiki with Ray, I'm Ray. <laughs> and then people just, hey, Tiki with Ray. I'm right. like, yeah, I guess I'm Tiki with Ray now. <laughs> so needless yeah. to say, this is how I will start my intro. Hi, everyone. This is Ray, or some of you might know me as Tiki with Ray. And right now, I am on the Tiki Trail with the Tiki Trail guy, Jeff Ballard. There you go. Yeah. So Jeff is, look, he, you're from Ocean... No, you're from the Orange County. Orange County. Orange County, Southern California. What brings you up to... Well, we're right now we're in Tacoma at the Devil's Reef. I got my shirt to support a little bit. But you you are in a unique, in a unique situation. That you have a job that enables you to travel a lot. Yes. Requires me to travel a lot more than enables me. Requires me, yeah. Requires you. Yes. It all depends on how you look at it. Uh, yes. I often say that those that travel for business, you can... Tell those that don't travel a lot and those versus those that do travel a lot. Yeah. You either say, I have to travel or I get to travel. So what do you say? I say, I have to travel. You have to travel until you're in a tiki bar and you're like... And then I say, I get to travel. I get to travel. <laughs> with your, Absolutely. So with your job, where have what's the furthest you've been away from, from L.A. or Southern California? Oh, job-wise? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Would be London. Have you uh, hit any tiki bars when you're in London? Trailer Happiness, sweet, top notch. One of the top tiki bars in the in the country or in the world, I yeah. should say. And um, oh yeah, I had a chance to hang out with Paul McFadden for a little bit and got to interview him. Nice. The guy is phenomenal. He's one of the um, the one of the heads on the uh, the Plantation OFTD bottle. So I've now been able to talk with three of those folks. So, sweet. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. But then on my honeymoon, I also, my wife's into tiki as well. Yeah. Thank goodness. Hi, Vicky. Um, yeah, she's, she's back there somewhere having drinks, actually. Um, you better watch but, out. She might be drinking. You're going to come back and your drink's going to be gone. No, that's why I have my drink with me. That's good thinking. <laughs> yes. That's good thinking. Yeah, so we did uh, tiki bars in Barcelona and Paris. Did you go to Tricky Dicks? Yes. yes. Dirty Dicks. Dirty Dicks. Dirty Dicks. How was it? Uh, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It, was, it is an old, you know the story. It's an old, used to be a, a house of prostitution, and it got renovated, yeah, turned into all, something else. I know else. all about prostitution. <laughs> and it's in the red light district of uh, Paris. It's an amazing place. You walk in, I mean, from the outside, you're looking like, well, okay, sure. And you step inside, it's a true tiki experience. You're taken away on this escape. So and Scotty I mean, Shooters uh, is amazing. So I know what you do for a living, so I'm not going to say that to, to keep everything cool. But when did you get into Tiki yourself, and how did you get into it, Jeff? Uh, kind of ironic you're asking me now, because it's Valentine's weekend, if you will. Yeah. And it was in 2010, Vicky and I went, I took her up to Hollywood for a Valentine getaway. Okay. And we stayed at the Hollywood Hilton. Okay. And at that time... Uh, they had a Trader Vic's downstairs, and we checked in, said, hey, let's go get a cocktail. We went downstairs, and um, at the time, I had, we had just moved in, and there's yeah. a, the whole house looked like Vicky. You'd walk in, and you're like, oh, this is really cool. Where does Jeff live? Yeah. So, you know, trying to, hey, is there some place I can get, you know, Jeff? Yeah. Presents? Yeah, to show a little bit of, like, your personality. Right. Yeah, I understand. And she said, well, you can have the garage. Part of me is like, really? <laughs> I'm kicked to the garage? But the other part was, it's carpeted, air-conditioned and heated. It's You're already got, halfway there. It, yeah, it's, it's like, okay, I just need to 
theme the space out. So you you go in, you check out the garage, you come back and you're like, so I can have the garage, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And exactly. The, the whole thing, right? Exactly. And then hence the birth the birth of the tacky tiki. The tacky tiki. So yeah, we were there at Trader at Trader Vic's looking around. It's like. This place is amazing. Yeah. She wanted a wine. I was going to get a whiskey or something. I go to the bar, and this group of people, they're all dressed up in suit, tuxes and gowns yeah. because there was some Oscar function that was happening, that uh, ceremony, pre-ceremony yeah. that night that they're all coming from. They had a scorpion bowl. They had this big bowl, yeah. and they're all drinking out of it. Like, what's that? And this woman goes, it's a scorpion bowl. She grabs a straw, sticks it in, and goes, here, try some. The rest is history. The rest is history. Yeah. I come back, my wife's expecting wine. I come back with this bowl bigger than her head. She goes, where's my wine? I have a scorpion bowl, honey. And there's more to come. <laughs> exactly. And then that's when you started to build your garage into the Tacky Tiki bar. Turned it into the Tacky Tiki. Well, you know, there's a little bit of um, uh, maneuvering that had to be done. Sure. Because my first few ideas on what to theme the garage didn't work. What were the other themes? I was like, hey, what about a sports theme? No. That's what about a? I don't remember what. She's you, like, no. What about this? No. So but I'm she said there, that you can have the, the exactly. garage to do anything you want. Exactly. But all your ideas are getting shot down. So I asked her, and I was like, "Well, you said I could have anything." She goes, "You want me to like it too, right?" And you're like, "That's not a, a loaded typical question. woman. Yeah, That's okay. not a loaded question." <laughs> so, uh, so I'm sitting there at Trader Vic's, and I'm going, "Man, this is a great decor, tiki. Yeah. That'd be awesome. How am I gonna get Vicky to buy into something like Trader Vic's?" Wait, Vicky, Vic, Vicky, Vic. Hey, <laughs> honey, let's do the, the garage tiki style. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we'll call it Trader Vicky's. <laughs> okay, I, I like I, that. I, I like how that sounds, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we've never called it Trader Vicky's. It's always been the tacky tiki. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how I got started in it. And it was, what, eight years ago, you know, this week, this time frame. That's awesome. Yeah. So how did you start... Well, blo- well, Jeff has a blog, tiki-trail.com. Yep. But what you also do is you do live videos. Right. Because Jeff lives down in Southern California, so you have a lot of opportunities to be at a lot of tiki events, tiki marketplaces, bars, and you take advantage of that, and you're able to like interview people right? and uh, kind of give a... A little bird's eye view of what's going on. And I'll tell you what, I've, wa- I've watched all Jeff's videos because I live up here in rainy Seattle where it's gray and there's nothing exactly. going on here. And I'm like watching you rolling around in all these cool places. I'm like, oh my God, I wish I was there. So I'm living vicariously through you. So out of all the people that you've interviewed, who was your, who was your most favorite to, to do? Because you've invented, I know you've interviewed wow. Sven Kirsten, Charles Phoenix, um, the list goes on and on and on. It, yeah, I mean, it really it really depends. I think my my favorite interview was last year at the Hooky Lao. Okay. Um, I just watched the Hula Girls on the main stage. Afterwards, where uh, everybody's at the Mai Kai for a closing ceremony, celebration, whatever. Yeah. And well, that, actually, they played that night uh, at the Mai Kai, so they finished up their set. Now we're downstairs watching the Surfer Jets, uh, a Canadian female young surf band sweet i mean you, none of those words go together and but they sound <laughs> great they're phenomenal yeah. and i'm watching i see um spike from uh the hula girls up there watching okay. i see andy from tiki tronic up there watching how's it going andy and i'm thinking you know there's hula girls one sound tiki tronic another sound watching surfer jets another sound how cool would it be to get the three of them together and just say, what's Tiki music? Yeah. And to get the feedback from them. Well, the Surfer Jets, they, they weren't able to join us. So it was Andy oh, and, okay. and uh, Spike and I. and um, that was I liked that one probably the best. That, was, that one was a lot of fun. Um, Paul, uh, uh, yeah, Paul McFadden out of um, uh, Trailer Happiness. Mm-hmm. That guy is a riot. Absolute cool guy. Loved hanging out there with his, with what he set up, um, and it was great hanging out with him. He's a good guy. Yeah. Um, and the same thing with Scotty Shooter, one of the other guys on the um, the OFTD bottom. That's awesome. Got a chance to interview him. So those are probably my 
See, it's hard to say because then there's Martin Kate. I got to interview him at, at False Idol. Yeah, and, and that was a long form interview. I think that's like 20 minutes. Long oh yeah, that was a long one. He just he just kept talking, and you know, I, I, I told him afterwards. Sorry, I usually don't go that long, but everything was just kind of flowing, and yeah, it was, yeah. that was a great interview. I love that one as well. Out of all the places that you've been to, what are some of your favorite tiki bars that you've been to across the country? The ones that stick out in my mind, uh, Lay Low in Houston, yeah. because uh, the the vibe and the, the people that were there, the yeah. staff, uh, Trailer Happiness, not just the staff, but it all felt like a family, and Paul yeah. made often re- reference often to family, yeah. um, and Forbidden Island in, uh, in Alameda. I'm, I'm going to be stereotypical, it's like the Alpha and the Omega for me are Tiki T and the Mai Kai. Those are the two well, special ones that come to my heart. Well, now you're talking, that's a whole different thing. Oh, okay. Because it used to be, you know, I would go and I'd, I'd do some rating system uh, on each of those things I look at. And my wife and I were at Frankie's in Las Vegas. Have you ever been there? Oh, yeah. And she looks at me and she goes, well, how would you rate this place? And I go, wait, what are you talking about? I couldn't rate this place. How do you rate the Mona Lisa, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a classic. Frankie's, the Mai Kai, um, Tiki T, those places are classic. They're they're the places you have to go to. Yeah. And if anybody, I mean, how do you rate it anything other than top notch? I mean. Yeah, and I don't even like, I remember when I first started my blog, I wanted to do, wanted to do Tiki Bar reviews. And I do Tiki Bar reviews, right? And the original idea, I remember someone was saying, like, oh, well, they have like a scorecard, like, how are the drinks? How are the, you know? How are the how's the decor and all this other stuff? And it's like, I don't want to do that. Um, I don't when I do my re- my reviews. I don't even like. I don't even want to call it a review because I don't want to critique the bar. Right. I, I want to just say like, here's what it is, right? And make your own conclusions because I think ultimately when people, if someone's reading like something, they just want to see is this place cool or not. And how do you describe? I mean, like, once you describe one tiki drink, you kind of describe them all. If you see us walking through your doors, you don't have to cringe. We're cool. I think we're probably about the most easy, easygoing guys when it comes to all this. Again, again, it's like... Well, tiki's supposed to be laid back to begin yeah. with, so... Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be laid back. I'm not... I'm no authority, authority or anything like that. I just like this. I think it's cool, and that's why I'm doing it. And that's pretty much... Sounds to me like, well, yeah. you're doing a lot of travel and you might as well hit some tiki bars while you're doing it, right? Well, you know what's funny is it was um, probably about six years ago I had the concept of Tiki Trail. Yeah. Got the domain and it's like, okay, I got it. Now what am I going to do? What is this thing? And what became more and more evident to me was I'm lucky being in Orange County, Southern California. Yeah. I've got, you know, an hour to the south of me, San Diego bars. There's a ton of great tiki bars there. Yeah. I travel an hour north. All the classics, Tiki T and, and everybody. That's where it all started yeah. in that area. So, and then Orange County, we've got great bars. And then every month, there's not one but two Tiki marketplaces. Every so month? Every well, not every month technically. But a it's lot. Every six weeks. Every six weeks. More, two more, marketplaces. More than I have up here. So all these bars, all these marketplaces. I look and I go, man, I'm I'm so lucky. I can't even believe this. And it got me thinking. What does that guy in Des Moines, Iowa do? And now I start thinking, what's that guy in Seattle, Washington Yeah, I watch do? your videos and be like, <laughs> seriously, I watch your videos and I think, well, look at all the money I'm saving. <laughs> exactly. I'd buy that so, Tiki, but like. So that was the idea for Tiki Trail is if, if, how can I help take Tiki to those people who don't have the same things I've got, you know, a stone's throw from me. No, and I, I so well, that's I'll, the thing I do. Yeah. Well, me, I'll, I'll tell you what, Jeff. I just, me personally, I appreciate doing what you're doing because I do watch your videos, and um, I'm sure there's a ton of people out there too that are doing exactly the same thing. I mean, at least I live in Seattle. I'm not too far away from a couple different different tiki places. But you're right. Say you got that person that's living in, I don't know. Nebraska or whatever. I don't know. Is there any tiki bars in Nebraska? There, there's a tiki bar in Omaha. Believe Omaha. it or not, I've heard rumors of a tiki bar there. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, hotel lobby. I've heard caught wind a couple of different times now about that. So if you're in Omaha, you're set. Yeah. But if not, you have to watch Jeff's videos to keep up with the uh, the tiki action. But uh, yeah, I still go back to that guy in Des Moines. Not to pick on Des Moines. Yeah, they Des Moines. may have tiki bars in Des Moines. I haven't seen or heard of any. 
Um, and there's uh, one of the best tiki bars in the country right now is in Kansas City. Yeah, Tiki Cat. So, I mean... Yeah, if, if, if Kansas City can get a great tiki bar, so could Des Moines, Iowa. So, then, all, so, Jeff, all your fans in Des Moines, Iowa, maybe they'll get a tiki bar. I know. Well, then I'll have to say, like, Duluth, Minnesota. Yeah, you have to. I'll have to pick another city. So, yeah. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. It's like, how, how can we help bring tiki? If they can't come to tiki, how can we take tiki to them? And that's, that's what it's all that's, about. That's what you're doing. Well, and that's what you're doing as well. I mean, you're and you're uncovering people. You know, you talk about the, the tiki gods that are out there. Yeah. The, the Sven Kirsten, the um, yeah. Otto, the, you know, uh, Jeff Beach Bumberry, Martin Kate. These guys are the ones that are leading the revolution, yeah. uh, or the, re- the, the rejuvenation yeah. of Tiki. And, but who are the other people? All the artists that are out there. Yeah. All the musicians that are out there. All, all the, the bartenders. bar owners and bartenders. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people that are going into this. And you're helping to bring some of those people to light. And you too. You too. Well, Jeff, thank you for being on my show. And um, I'll see you on the Tiki Trail. All right, man. I'll see you out there, my friend. What did you think of that? That was good. I didn't get in TikiTrail.com. TikiTrail.com. <laughs> <laughs>Hey gang, this is Tiki with Ray, and I just want to say thank you very much for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more episodes, click on the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a like. That would mean a lot to me. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave a comment in the, uh, the comment section below.